Hi, this is Mark Bricolot from Building Aspirations, and I want to help you sell more of your professional services. So spend a few minutes with me, and I'll help you sell more. It's about your clothes. You need to have a good clothes when you're selling professional services. If you are a coach, a consultant, a speaker, a trainer, oh my gosh, you are selling your expertise. You are not selling a shirt, you are not selling a jacket. That's an easy decision making process. But when you are selling intangibles, oh my gosh, it is a lot harder. And if you are not familiar with the sales process, you need to ask for the clothes. You need to ask for the business. Because if there's a candy bar at the supermarket and at the checkout line, I know the process. As a consumer, I pick up the candy bar, I put it on the little conveyor belt, and I purchase the candy bar. The close is obvious. It's straightforward. I understand and I trust the process. It's easy for me to contemplate. It's easy for me to do. But when services are being sold, it's a different process. And you need to be a little bit more assertive in asking for that close. I would love to work with you. I can take your investment now. We can sign the contract right now. When would you like to start? Click here to invest. You need to have a very, very specific call to action. Tell people what they need to do. Make it very obvious to them that you're ready to move forward. Because when you're selling the service, you kind of hope and you sort of want them to engage with you and figure it out. But you know what? Don't encourage people to be distracted because their figuring out process may be different than yours. Going back to the example of the supermarket, bam, everybody knows how to buy something at the supermarket. But it's entirely possible that if you are selling your consulting and coaching services, they don't know how to do it. Especially if you're dealing with corporations and government entities or they're a steering committee or in a selection committee or some type of evaluation, it may not be an easy purchase. So do whatever you can to ask for the close. And your close may involve multiple steps. So if you know there's an evaluation committee, well, you know what, here's what I suggest. Let's schedule an appointment with the evaluation committee next Thursday at 9 a.m., whatever. Figure out the, the, the solution for them. Make it easy for them. You need to know and understand your close process. I would love for each and every one of you to be able to say, okay, just give me the credit card and let's start doing business right now. But it may not be that easy. So whatever your close process is, figure it out and articulate it very concisely and specifically to your client. Because the more effectively you can do this, it's easier for them to work with you. You have something to share with the world, you have power, you have expertise, and your information needs to get out there. And the sales process is the only way it can happen. And sales is hard, I know sales is hard. And I can't make it easy for you, but I can make it easier. And I have a coaching process, and I would love to help you. To learn more about my coaching, click on the link in the box below this video. It'll take you to a page at buildingaspirations.com, my consulting company. Or if you're, if you're unsure and you just want to speak to me directly and answer some specific questions, there's also a resource where you can schedule an appointment with me, a phone consultation. Just click on the link, there's a little calendar that'll walk you through the process, I'll collect a little information about you to make sure that I'm a match for you. I need to be able to fit your budget, your recommendations, and your time frame. So I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me today, and if you would like to learn more about me and how I can help you, find those resources in the box below. This has been Mark Mickelot from Building Aspirations. Thanks for listening.